Welcome to Setup Mastery, your go-to channel for all things tech. Here, we explore the latest gadgets, unbox cutting-edge devices, and provide step-by-step -step installation guides to help you optimize your setup. Subscribe now and join our journey to master the art of perfect setups. In this video, we'll walk you through the entire process of setting up the Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender ensuring you have a smooth and hassle-free installation. Whether you're boosting your home network or improving signal strength in specific areas, by the end of this guide, your extender will be fully operational. Let's dive in. Begin by unboxing your Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender. Inside, you'll find the extender itself, a power adapter, and a quick start guide to help you with setup. Before moving forward, Take a moment to ensure all items are present and accounted for. Select an ideal location for your Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender, ensuring it's positioned halfway between your main router and the area where you need enhanced Wi-Fi coverage. Be sure the extender is within the range of your current Wi-Fi network for optimal performance. Attach the power adapter to your Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender then plug it into a nearby electrical outlet. Allow a few minutes for the extender to power up and wait for the LED light to turn solid white, indicating it's ready for setup. If your router is compatible with Easy Mesh, the Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender will automatically pair with it, simplifying the setup process. If your router doesn't support Easy Mesh, you'll need to pair the devices manually by pressing and holding the WPS button on the extender for 5 seconds. Next, press the WPS button on your router within 2 minutes. This will initiate the connection process. The LED on your extender will start blinking white to indicate it's trying to connect. Once the connection is established, the LED will turn solid white, confirming success. To ensure the extender is working, connect your device to the new extended network. The Wi-Fi name will match your existing network, but may include an identifier like EXT to distinguish it. Test the signal strength in areas where coverage was weak. For more advanced configurations, open the MyFIOS app or access the Verizon router's web interface through a browser. From there, you can customize your network name, modify various settings, or even update the firmware to ensure your extender operates optimally. Once the extender is set up, check all devices connected to the extended network to ensure they're receiving a strong, stable signal. Test browsing in previously weak areas for a smooth experience. If you encounter any issues, try restarting the extender or refer to the Quick Start Guide for troubleshooting. If you experience any issues or need assistance, our dedicated team of experts is ready to help. Don't hesitate to reach out for support, guidance, or any questions you may have. You can contact us at 1-323-507-3713 for prompt assistance. And that's it. Your Verizon E3200 Wi-Fi extender is now set up and ready to go. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tech tutorials. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.